hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how i created this beautiful and flawless look if this is your first time stopping by hello welcome to the channel my name is Ona Buchi promise and i'm a makeup artist based in Lagos, nigeria firstly i use a, a face cleanser i don't know i can't remember the name because i didn't show it in this video i use a face cleanser to cleanse her face with a baby wipe make sure you clean your client or model's face very well before applying any product so it has a smooth base and make sure you dry it up before applying your skincare and now i went in with my serum from blossom cosmetic to hydrate her face i'm using my hand to massage it so it sits well into her skin make sure you wash your hands your hands are clean before doing this process And now I went in my set of moisturizer to moisturize her face. I'm also using my hand to massage this into the skin too, because I want it to sit well on the skin. Now for my primer, I am using the Pond Primer. I'm applying it on our T zones. Make sure you don't apply your primer under the eyes because the under eyes needs enough moisture. So you don't want to take away the moisture by applying the primer. When applying this primer, I usually rub it on my finger before applying it on T zones because it's a bit thick. I'll be spraying the face to lock in all the product I used for the skin prep. So for our foundation, I use the V Beauty foundation. The thing is that I don't really know the shade of this foundation because V Beauty, their, their foundation, the number is always written on the on their pack. So to blend, I am using my Y Glam Beauty Blender to blend this. This, this beauty blender is my best beauty blender. Like I really love it. it really helps a lot in blending because it's very soft. Maybe it's too soon, yeah, I know we just met What I got to lose, gonna send me a dress I don't like to wait, so you better not leave me on red No, not tonight, cause I'm over with some friends and I'm over sending See, for concealer, I'll be using my Avo concealer in the shade A60 to so highlight her face So now I'll be going in with my with my cream blush. We I'll be using the TM Essential Cheek Glaze in the shade Drop Dead for our cream blush.
now to set the places i highlighted i'll be using my setting my mirac setting powder in shade ginger Now to set the rest part of her face, I'll be using my Who Is That Girl powder palette. To contour her nose and her cheekbone, I'll be using a shade darker than her skin tone from the same palette I used to set her face. For a blush, I used a powder blush from the FMM powder palette. To bake her face, I used the Benign setting powder and I also used it to do a reverse contour. Now for our brows, I use a spoolie brush and the air wash to brush our hairs up, our brows up. To draw our brows, I use the Davis pencil in the shade 03. I have a detailed video on how I draw brows, and I'll, I'll be linking it in the description box so you go watch it. After drawing the brows, I used two shades lighter than her skin tone for my super stay concealer palette to conceal her, her brows. Now I'll be setting her brow bones with my powder. I'm using exactly the shade of the concealer I used to set her brow bones. A video of how I achieved this eyeshadow look is, uh, is up on my channel. I'll be putting down the link in the description box so you go watch and see how I achieved this beautiful green smoky eyeshadow. Now for her lips, I'll be using my classic lip stain 
my mat my classic listing in the shade vip to outline our lips Now for the inner part of our leaves, I use a very light pink shade from my Wizard Girl Lip Palette. After applying the pink shade, I use the lip brush to blend the lip. And now we need a foundation to clean up the essence. After the skin of the excess powder, I used my Kiss Beauty setting spray to set the face. Now to highlight her face, I used my Blossom, Blossom highlighter. I highlight her cheekbone, her forehead, the bridge of her nose. Her So now I went in with my powder to put everything in place. So now for the finished look, I went in with my TM Essential Cheek Glaze in the shade Drop Dead. There is something this cheek glaze does to the face, like you guys are seeing the difference it makes to the face. So guys this is the finished look can you see how how flawless and beautiful she's looking there is no filter on this face normally i don't filter my youtube videos i post it as it is thank you for watching to this far please don't forget to subscribe share comment and like my video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye